When the known bids farewell, when what's certain no longer governs, the heart lies exposed. Routine, distraction, plans torn away, and the dreadful, powerful, beautiful pokes into the chasm. Avoid, whispering, dwell. An invitation, or a command, for in the stark cavern carved by such a year, the heart cannot help but dwell. It's not a matter of if, but on what. Fire, isolation, sickness, division, bitter voices. They clang off every wall, offering to fill the space they helped create and suffocate what might have grown there. But in this unexpected, unrequested place, something more beckons. One whose living gaze and beating heart burn brighter than any wildfire. Whose voice whispers into every isolation. Whose body bears every sickness. Who divides seas, but casts down every dividing wall. Be still. Listen. Notice and dare to dwell in the presence of one who yearns to set your heart a beat, alive, whole. In this year's wake, choose courageously on what and on whom you will dwell. I took you from the ends of the earth, from its farthest corners I called you. I said, you are my servant, I have chosen you and have not rejected you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us, and for as many years as we have seen evil. But for you who revere my name, the Son of Righteousness will rise with healing in his rays, and you will go out and frolic like well-fed calves. Then you will trample on the wicked. They will be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day that I act, says the Lord Almighty. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. I will seek the lost, and I will bring back the strayed, and I will bind up the injured, and I will strengthen the weak. But the fat and the strong I will destroy. I will feed them with justice. Our Father, who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. For the Lord your God is living among you. He is a mighty Savior. He will take delight in you with gladness. With his love he will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Be filled with the Spirit, and always give thanks to God the Father for everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, 
Present your requests to God. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way, and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. For I know the plans and thoughts that I have for you, says the Lord, plans for peace and well-being and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. The sun is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God your needs, and don't forget to thank Him for His answers. If you do this, you will experience God's peace which is far more wonderful than our human minds can understand. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.